Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is Donna from Tarot. Tarot, we're going to do a quick read for you all using this die to choose the decks to make the message you need to hear. At the end, we will do six cards, Donna's Destiny, and then we'll do the all signs. If you're dealing with an Aries, if you're dealing with a Taurus, etc. Um, if any card repeats, I will point that out in case that's something you need to hear. If any sign repeats, I will point that out in case it's confirmation of somebody you came here to hear about. Um, anyone who is curious or interested about purchasing a new tarot deck, there's a playlist called Random. There's several, I think there's like 10 to 12 deck reviews I've done. You can check it out. Um, I think that's it. I can't think of anything else. Oh, I mentioned in the Capricorn re read, which went way too long. Um, right now is trigger warning time for anybody who is emotionally unavailable um, or people who just have a hard time giving and receiving love. If you've been dealing with somebody like that, yeah, I expect to hear from them. So <laughs> don't be surprised if they reach out and touch someone, you know. Um, so if you feel the need to block before, you know, do whatever you got to do. If you want to hear from them, well, you're going to be hearing from your uh, emotionally unavailable jerk off, you know, wh whoever they are. I don't want to say bitch or dick, but, you know, someone who is a real pain in the ass that you, it's really in and out and, you know, up and down. You, you never really know how you feel about them. You're like, Jesus, just let me know how you feel. Like, how do you really feel about me? That person? Yeah, it's trigger time right now. Um, for anybody who's interested in astrology, it, it's moon conjunct Saturn square Venus right now in the sky. I know somebody who has that on their chart, and so they're going to be triggered. They're probably going to be reaching out to all the people they try to have on, on hold. Um, they can avoid me because I really don't feel like being on a hold for anybody. But um, anybody who has um, moon conjunct Saturn square Venus is, is going to be triggered right now by the energies in the sky. So with that said, let's roll. 25. Oh my god, we're starting out with an oracle card, Moonology. Okay, so it's this deck. So this... Okay, so your reading is starting out with an oracle card. What message do you need to hear? Something very quick, to the point, from Moonology. By the way, Cheryl Ash um, is the person who gave me this. Adjustments are required. Ooh. Third quarter moon. So something, you need to make some kind of change in the way you do something to get the result that you want. Um, because it says adjustments are required. Okay. So Aquarius. Hmm. All right. So let's see. Let's get a, a reading. Uh, 21 is Revelations Terror. Whoa. Okay. It, fear just struck in my heart. Because you know why? <laughs> Because I, I should take, I don't know, should I take this deck out? Should I give this deck away? Should I, I don't know what to do with this deck. It's it's one that I do reversals with, but half the time it makes me feel like a jackass because I, I sit here going, all right, I'm not really sure, I'm not getting anything off of this. <laughs> and I don't like that. I like when, you know, I'm connecting. Here's Revelations Tarot, so here's a, a deck that's going to make me look like a jackass, I guess. We'll see. Hopefully not. All right, so I shuffle before I put the deck back after I do a reading. So let's see what was what ended up on the bottom of the deck. Um, Eight of Cups, walking away for something more emotionally fulfilling. Now, this is the Revelations Tarot version of the Eight of Cups. This is how it looks in their deck. So this is Eight of Cups, walking away. Um, but nobody's walking in this one. It's like they're, um, they're reaching up. They're letting cups just kind of fly everywhere. It almost looks like they're rising up out of the water um, and letting whatever's around them just float away. Look at this. This is the visual I kind of get right there. You know? All right. So we'll do a good faith shuffle. Then we're going to shuffle the deck of spreads and see what your first spread is. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, let's see. What is he slash she really thinking? So you want to read somebody's mind. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> a little snooping, you know, not, not, not a bad thing. Um, so here's the thing. What I just said, somebody who's emotionally unavailable. So do you have to consult a tarot reading to find out how somebody feels about you? Because if you do, you're dealing with somebody who's emotionally unavailable. They're probably going to reach out and touch someone today or tomorrow, you know, soon. Um, the first card out of in your spread is once again a reversal. Knight of Swords in reverse. So somebody's not rushing in for communication. Okay. But I'm 
almost feel like, so this is somebody who um, is kind of childish. Knight of Swords is like, they're very spiteful with their words. They're very, I don't know, they, they stew and they brew and they just kind of sit there seething. So this is somebody who's seething. Um, Knight of Swords in reverse, okay? This is, the, that's what I see when I look at this one. Um, so what does he, she really think? What are they saying to you? Okay, so they're probably saying really shitty things to you. They're, they're probably being kind of, you know, just mean, mean with their words. Um, Knight of Swords in reverse. They're saying things that kind of hurt your feelings or trying to hurt your feelings because I, it's, it just gives me a very immature, unevolved feel when I, when I see this, when I think of this. Um, I don't like that. What are they really thinking? Um, the emperor in reverse. They feel like they don't have power. Oh. <laughs> so did you ghost somebody? And you, you, you're beating somebody at their own game? Like if somebody tries to make control you or make you feel a certain way, and they like to be the one in control if they have control issues, and you took the control away from them because you're like, you know what? Fuck off with your bullshit. <laughs> I don't need your crap. I don't need it. And if you just walked away or you just ignored them, you just gave them a, a taste of their own medicine, but the emperor in, in reverse is what they're really feeling. They're feeling like they don't have control. They don't have power anymore. They're like, they, they can't control you right now. They don't know what to do. So here's the emperor in, here's the emperor upright in their deck. Okay. They're in control. They're bought, you know, the boss, you know, they're the one in charge in reverse it's like ah i don't know what to do so they're feeling like they they don't have the control that is an interesting i gotta look at this i gotta look at it with these glasses on i have to do it um to get the detail yeah they look sad there here they look happy like i'm in control almost like a peacock look look at almost looks like a peacock it, <laughs> with the in the back here um but there, they just look really sad, and they're like, "Where's my power? I don't my my swords is they're missing. I don't have control." Yeah. So, what they're really feeling is that you've taken control from them. Um, what are they really feeling deep down? Um, they feel like they need to heal. They need rest. They're maybe they're exhausted. Deep down, they, I feel like they're just kind of worn out and exhausted and they need a break. They feel like they need to heal. This is what they're, they're really feeling deep down. Like they just want to take a break. They need healing. Their actions and behaviors towards you. Making you feel left out in the cold. Yeah, this is who they are. They're, what they're doing. Making you feeling left out in the cold. Like you're, they may make you feel poor. <laughs> Um, especially if they've, you know, tried to use money in some way, shape, or form to control you. Outside influences that are having an impact, um, not making, not deciding, not deciding which way to go. Um, someone who needs to make a decision and they're not making a decision on which way to go. Um, two of Wands is in reverse. This is such an odd deck. All right, so this is the Two of Wands upright. Outside influences. Um, this is the upright version, but this is actually how it's presenting. So two of wands in reverse. Again, upright. Take a good close look at the picture. Okay. And then in reverse. So can't can't decide a way. Maybe they feel like they they're just no. There's no. That could be it. They may feel like they just don't have any any place to go. Um, they don't have an option. Maybe they're they're just feeling really stuck where they are. And like everything is just kind of burning up or falling down around them. Um, future in the next two to three months. Um, but the Three of Cups is in reverse. So usually Three of Cups is a card of reconciling and celebrating. Yeah, th look at the now I don't like that there's three people in this I mean of course it usually is in the three of cups but um this card makes me think triangulation and the triangulation is a tactic um 
controlling people use. When they try to control somebody else and manipulate someone else, they will triangulate to try and somehow torture you, keep you hostage. So look at, see how they're all intertwined? They're all connected, like in a big circle. Like tri It looks like triangulation to me. And if you don't know what that term means, look it up. Um, but it's in reverse. So, and that cup, see how in the, the cup is upright, holding the love in the, the top, um, supporting the love. In the bottom, or I mean in reverse, it's it's poured out. So, um, maybe if there was a, if there was a third party situation or if there's some type of, if there was a third influence that you dealt with in your relationship with this person, um, I feel like whatever emotion that kept the three influences together, that emotion has been poured out. It didn't work out and it wasn't, you know, what they wanted. Um, so four of wands is on the bottom of the deck. Um, this might be a marriage or a long-term commitment somebody you've dealt with for a long time or somebody you felt just extremely committed to. Because it's upright. Okay, this is this is upright. Uh, that's that's a card of stability, though. So let's see what else we have. Um, how interesting. So the next spread is called healing a relationship. But here's the thing. The three of cups as the the future next two to three months in reverse. Mm, I don't like that. Um, there are behaviors towards you making you feel left out in the cold. Do you really want to be with somebody that you feel left out in the cold? 25. Uh, moonology. Didn't we just do moonology? I thought we just did. We did. So what was the next one after adjustments are required? Um, you're very close to achieving your goal. You know what? Who got this? Capricorn got this. Um, Capricorn got you're very close to achieving your goal as well. So, all right, Aquarius, you need to know that. So if there's something that you've been working on, working hard on trying to, to get off the ground or get completed or finished, you're getting there. You're almost there. That you need to know. Five is Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. Okay, good, because this is a deck that I can easily read. Um doesn't make me look like a jackass like this deck <laughs> so healing a relationship is a four card spread okay and this is the deck I'm using by the way this is the Brady Wise Spirit Tarot deck on the bottom of the deck <laughs> Knight of Wands so this is the card of playboy playgirl um, non-committal energy just having fun um, just going wherever your passion takes you so, again, playboy, playgirl energy, but, you know, going where your passion takes you. So, um, healing a relationship. If you if there's a relationship, whether it's a love relationship, um, and there's Taurus energy. Um, so, this is just you trying to decide whether or not something is worth it, I think. You, the other person, you know, there's a spirit of trying to decide if something's worth it, seeing how far you've come in something. That card wanted to be seen. Um and the four pentacles in the bottom of the deck being stubborn. So let's see. What are their feelings? <laughs> Aquarius. They just want to have fun. They, they feel very passionate towards you. They feel... They, you definitely turn them on. What are your feelings? <laughs> yeah. This is how you feel. They may, they may be interested in, you know, the hot and sexy, but you're like... You are a burden. <laughs> That's what you're thinking about them. They're a burden. They bring a lot of burdens, maybe. Maybe they try to lean on you financially. I don't even know. The near future. Okay, so this is either being very, very stable financially, um, having everything you need financially, you know, you're you're doing really well. Or this is somebody you're dealing with somebody possibly who's very materialistic and that's all they care about is money. So you could be dealing with somebody like that. The distant future, Page of Cups. Now, the Page of Cups is an offer of love. Um, it could be a new offer. So that could be why it's so, like, just a small offer. Page is not, like, real big. Now, it uh, could also have to do with somebody who's very um, either emotionally immature or somebody who is 
kind of emotionally unavailable. I'm not going to say it's not four of cups, it's page of cups, but so it could be immaturity, you know, that could be emotionally immature. So there's going to be an offer of love, possibly from somebody who is emotionally immature. What's on the bottom of the deck? Feeling done. Feeling done. Ending, being done. Feeling stabbed in the back. Feeling stressed to the max. Or you're just like, I've had it. You're like, so what, have you ever been so stressed out? You're like, you know what? You reach your limit on stress in, in, with a situation or a person or something. And you're like, okay, I'm done. And you just walk away. You're like, had enough, had enough. I'm out of here. It could be an argument. You could be arguing with somebody and you're like, I've had enough of this argument. And you just walk away and slam the door. This is the walk away, slam the door kind of card. All right. So, um, what else? We're at 15 minutes. I kind of want to do one more and then, and not, not an Oracle card. Okay, good. Um, 15 is Mabramig. Okay. Mabramig, the deck of animals with giant heads. <laughs> Tiny animals, giant heads. All right, so it's cute. It's a cute deck. All right, so what spread are we doing? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, okay, look at the name of this spread. Time to say goodbye. Okay, it's maybe with a question mark, but let's just see. Is it with a question mark? Um, I'm not going to make room here. Did anything repeat, by the way? Uh, Knight of Swords, Emperor, Four of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Three of Cups, Four of wands then we have knight of wands ten of wands king of pentacles page of cups ten of two tens tens are endings and beginnings all right so let's see mabramig cutest deck ever Ooh, the two what is it about the two of cups always wanting to hide two of cups always wants to hide in the box i have the two of cups missing from a uh, um steampunk deck i can't even really use the deck i haven't thrown it away but I mean, the two of cups in that deck is missing, so I had to buy a new deck. I went to, I know how I found out. I was doing a deck review, and I was like, "Where's the two of cups?" Interesting. All right, so hmm. and I just realized I didn't look at the card that was on the bottom of the deck after I whatever. It's okay. Um, it's fine. So your relationship contentment levels. You're just kind of trying to hide out and seek answers. This is actually a card of um, Virgo too. It's a Virgo card. It's the Hermit. Um, so you're just trying to um, kind of hide out and seek answers. You're just trying to go within, figure things out, taking a, you know, just taking time to yourself. So this is you right now. You're just like I'm, I'm resting and I'm I'm seeking answers and I'm staying to myself. Um, what you need for your soul's growth. <coughs> well, here you go, Aquarius. You can see this and then you can click off and not watch anything else, right? This is all you need to hear. So what you need for your soul's growth to walk away from someone or something that's emotionally unfulfilling. If it's a job, it's a relationship, whatever it is, a friendship, a living situation. Aquarius, you need to walk away, walk away. Oh, look at the moon. The moon has a, it has a face and it has a very long pointy nose. <laughs> Look at that long pointy nose. Like nothing against somebody with a long pointy nose, but it's just funny. Look at the uh, the moon. All right, so you need to walk away. What is on offer to match your need? Um, well, here's why. <laughs> so you have been feeling left out in the cold, and Five of Pentacles is now here twice. That's a Taurus card. That's a card of feeling left out in the cold, feeling poor, feeling like you don't have what you need. Look at this. This is the Five of Pentacles in the uh, Mabramig deck. Um, it's one of the decks that I reviewed, too, in the uh, random playlist. So, look at, look at the owl. He's like, he looks pitiful, doesn't he? God, he's like, he's on crutches. He's just looking sad. So, um, feeling handicapped and just feeling like you, you don't, not feeling great, right? Definitely not feeling good. Um, so, you need to walk away because you don't feel good. You feel left out in the cold. You feel poor. What action you could take for the highest good of all? Look at your options. Look at your options. You have options. I don't know if you're aware of it, but you have options. You have plenty of options. Even if you're not aware of them, there's plenty of options. Take a closer look at them. <laughs> so how to stay whole during the process of taking this action? Okay, so seek out information, seek out, network with people, um, 
reach out to other people and, and get their opinions and their advice on things. This is a card of t getting advice, working together and getting advice, networking. Okay, so this is you seeking advice. <laughs> All right, so this is also, um, actually, this is a Cap or Capricorn card. I was going to say that's a Taurus card, but actually, it's a Capricorn card. Um, so on the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Cups. Look at this. this is so cute. Man, I love this deck. It's so stinking cute. Look, Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So an offer of real true love. And I almost feel like this is you offering this to yourself. Okay. I'm not saying for those of you who are codependent, I'm just saying, calm your tits. Don't, don't be so in a hurry to, to hook up with somebody else. Focus on, you know, offering yourself some love, but I think once you do walk away from something that makes you feel left out in the cold and you look at your options and you network, um, love is going to come in. It's going to be real love. It's going to be true love. And it's not going to be some Shady McShadester. It's not going to be a Four Cups. It's not going to be a Seven of Swords. It's not going to be sneaky, shady, blocky, you know, ignoring, or Five of Pentacles energy. You know, it's going to be somebody. And it, it may be Knight of Wands. But if it is, and that's my neighbor on a four-wheeler, if it is, um, it's still going to be real love. I'm going to have to close the door. All right, so, yeah, i got to close the door. All right, so give me one second, because I it's going to be annoying. All right, Aquarius. So, six cards done as destiny, and then we will do um, the all signs and close us out. So... What repeated? The five of pentacles repeated. Did the seven of cups, I feel like the seven of cups was, wasn't it? No, maybe not. Knight of swords. You got a lot of knights. Knight of wands, knight of swords, knight of wands. And then knight of cups. Hmm. So three knights, I'm thinking you. that's you reaching out and getting advice. You're seeking, you know, you're reaching out to advisors, you know, people getting advice on um, either relationships like tarot videos, watching videos on, you know, like the love advice channel, or whatever, or just talking to friends. Um, you know what? Right now, you're not putting out a, um, a vibe of I'm warm and fuzzy, I'm open and available. You're putting off a vibe. Lots of people desiring you is in reverse, which means people see you as kind of chilly right now and closed off. Um, you are protected, so you're good. You're good. Flirt more. Yeah, seriously. Flirt more. Go, just go along with it. Yeah, just go along with what I just said. Flirt more. <laughs> um, play more. You're too serious. And then cook them a special meal is in reverse for obvious reasons, right? Um, they are not letting you go, but it's sideways, so they may not have a choice. <laughs> um, so if you are dealing with an Aries, I got to use the other deck. If you're dealing with an Aries, well, now my dogs are flipping out. I knew the neighbor would eventually show up. It's such a freaking nice day. It's like almost, it's like 154. So it's almost two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, it's like, I don't even know. It's like 70 degrees outside probably. Okay. Aries. Mm, by the way, you get an apology coming from somebody. Um, Aries. Um, <laughs> They see this as a disaster, but they want to work together. They want to try and figure out what to do. They want to try and fix this. If you are dealing with a Taurus, they're losing sleep over it and trying to make a decision. They are so up in their head. If you are dealing with a Gemini, please don't knock on my door. If you're dealing with a Gemini, um, they're being stubborn and just kind of spying on you right now. If you are dealing with a Cancer, um, they want to take a leap of faith, even though, actually, you know what? They feel done. They, they're going to go off and they're trying to, they're feeling adventurous. And they want to go off and try something new. I think um, they're kind of feeling done. If you are dealing with a Leo, um, they are stressed out and they're, they're all up in their head and just wanting to end things. If you're dealing with a Virgo, they see you as their two of cups and, or 10 of cups, 10 of cups. They see happily, happily ever after with you. And they're feeling stuck right now. All right. Um, if you are dealing with a Libra, they want things equal. Um, I feel like 
somehow, some way, courts are going to be involved. I don't know. Some of you all, if you're dealing with a Libra, you might have, um, this could be like child support. I don't even know. There's something, something to do with legal. I just, anyway, justice card and the hair font. Um, they want to commit to you though. So there's that. Um, if you are dealing with an, a Scorpio, um, they're kind of hiding out, seeking answers, but they want success with you. If you are dealing with a Sagittarius, um, they take forever to invest in things and they walk away. They're walking away first right now. Well, they're going to take forever to invest anyway. So they're solid and stable, but they take forever to invest. So they're just, they're walking away. Maybe they think that things are taking too long to come together. I don't know. Um, if you are dealing with a Capricorn, they're going to come rushing in. Um, and they're just focused on healing at the moment. If you're dealing with a fellow Aquarius, um, they're being quiet, but, um, they're kind of secretive, but they see, you know, they're optimistic and they see you all growing together. They might want children with you. If you're dealing with a Pisces, they are purposely, they're trying to be patient. Um, I don't like that. And I'm not quite sure how to read that. Actually, I, get, I don't get a feel off of that. You get the temperance card and the devil. Maybe they're trying to be patient and make you feel a certain way. If they're not reaching out to you, then they're being patient um, because they think that they can manipulate you, make you feel a certain way. So, well, it could also be Pisces feels like um, this is kind of unhealthy. They're trying to be patient, but they might feel like this is kind of unhealthy. That there, you know, there's some type of obsessive. Is it obsessive behavior? I don't even know. Hold on a second. Yeah, it's a sex thing. All right. So, with that said, thank you all so much. Um, love you, Aquarius, and I will see you all in the next one.